In this video, we'll learn to use the slide rule to work triangle problems that have to do with sines and cosines. If you take a look at the first triangle here, we have a right triangle with an acute angle of 41 degrees, a hypotenuse of length 18, and an opposite side of unknown length. And so it must be the case that the sine of 41 degrees is x, as we've labeled the opposite side, over 18 x then will be 18 times the sine of 41 degrees. And so we need to use the calculator to try to evaluate that. So we will take the slide rule, pardon me, not the calculator. We'll take the slide rule and we'll orient the slide so that the S, L, and the T scales are showing. And the S is the sine scale. And since we want to start out doing stuff to the sine of 41, we will make, this sh make sure the scales are nicely aligned. We'll find 41 on the S scale, and it's about there. And we will then read up to the A scale, which is the immediately adjacent scale, and we'll see that the sine of a 41 degree angle is about 0.65 something, close to 0.66. We don't care so much about that, though. We care about that times 18. So what I'll do is I'll use my cursor to hold that position, and I will turn the slide over. And I'll make use of the fact that because the B and the C scales are basically just shrunken uh, C and D scales, we can actually use them to multiply. So I will take the index on the B and move it over to this value. And then I will slide the cursor down to 18 on uh, also the B. And then I'll just read up, and I'll see that this is about 118 or so. So 1.18, 11.8. From the context, we know that it would have to be 11.8 because this opposite side to the angle, the 41 degree angle, needs to be less than 18 but not way, way less than 18. 1.18 would be simply too small for the situation. So there's our first example. Second example, we have another right triangle. We have a 57 degree acute angle. We have an unknown hypotenuse length and we have an adjacent side of length 12. And so what we need to do is to employ the cosine in this case, right? Because we know the adjacent length, we want to know the hypotenuse. So we can say the cosine of 57 degrees is equal to 12 over x. Well, this is a bit of an issue because we don't have a cosine scale. However, we know that if that is a 57 degree angle, then this must be a 33 degree angle because the two acute angles in a right triangle, of course, have to add to 90 degrees. So I can just as easily say that the sine of 33 degrees is 12 over x. And a little bit of algebra 1 gives us that x is 12 over the sine of 33. In order to evaluate this on our calculator, we'll first have to find the sine of 33. So I will reverse my slide yet again and get everything aligned. And we'll look for 33 on the S scale. And it's about here. So the sine of 33 is just shy of 5.5. But again, we don't care so much about what the sine is. We care about what 12 divided by the sine of 33 is. So I'm going to use, again, the cursor to hold my position and flip back to the other side of the slide rule. And basically my task is to divide 12 by the sine of 33. Well, I've got the cursor holding the position for the sine of 33, so I will slide 12 on the B over to the position of the cursor. And so basically, if I think about forming a fraction or a ratio, 
the values on the, the ratio of the value on the b to the a is what I want. It's 12 over sine 33. So what is that over 1? Well, I'll just look over to where the index is on the a, and I'll find that I'm looking at about 22. And so this value is 22. Finally, we have a question in which two side lengths are known, but the angle measure is not. So we have uh, an unknown acute angle, again, in a right triangle. We know the opposite length is 5. We know the adjacent length is 12. And so we know that the sine of this angle, x, is 5 twelfths. And so basically what we need to do is locate 5 twelfths on the a scale. And having done that, we can again flip the slide over, we can figure out what angle has that value for its sign. So, <coughs> I want 5 over 12 to be something over 1, and I want the 1 to be on the B, so that I can read from the A to the sign scale when the moment comes for that. So, again, 5 over 12 equals something over 1, so I'm going to take the 5 from the A, I'm going to place it over 12 on <coughs> the B, and I'm going to say, okay, that is something over 1. And where is the 1? Well, it's here on the index. So, I've now located up here on the A, 5 twelfths. I flip slide over, I line it up as carefully as I can, and I read down, and it looks like I'm at about 22.6 degrees maybe, we could certainly with complete safety call it 23 degrees.